some tea. Give me my tea, bitch. Mmm. Damn. That shit good. Fortnite finally released a good patch yo like bro remember like a month ago when fortnite totally absolutely vaulted the most iconic weapon in fortnite absolutely narcissistical man i actually didn't think fortnite was gonna do it i thought the pump was forever gone we are never going to see it again but thank god it is back in the game. But wait, there's a chance that it might get vaulted again. I, I'm just saying to clear that up, you know, I may, I know we may have our hopes up that the pump is gonna be forever in the game, but it may get vaulted again. In the patch notes, it specifically says, there's been a lot of feedback around the tactical shotgun and combat shotgun effectiveness. So if we're experimenting with a world where the pump shotgun joins, the current shotgun lineup so yes if fortnite deems the pump shotgun as makes the people over aggressive or it gives us motion sickness they they will take it out but the thing that really sucks is the combat shotgun definitely outclasses the pump in the current meta and you know having carrying the pump makes it so you have to carry a weapon to follow up with the pump which is something you don't have to do with the combat shotgun i'm just really happy it's back it's way better than picking a tactical shotgun off spawn because that gun I, I i mean at least you have a chance with a pump against a person with the the combat shotgun but if you have attack you might as well just pull a zexro on them and leave the game And really? They vaulted Riftagos? First of all, this was like such a rare item anyways, but why? Why? This affected the loot lineup in no way. But I say that and I start to think, maybe Riftagos was taking up a lot of shield spawns, you know? Because today when I was playing, I found, I found so many shields while playing today, which is crazy. You know, I feel like a big problem the game was, you know, besides the pump being taken out, was the shields. The, not being able to find a shield and coming up against a person with full shield puts you at such a major disadvantage, making the game not fun or playable. So hey, if we have to sacrifice a nice form of mobility for more shields, that's, that's something I'll gladly take. Overall, I will say this is the best Fortnite update ever, only because... Fortnite has put themselves in such a deep crap that if they put out anything that's kind of good, it's the best. And you know, this had a ton of good stuff. It lowered the spawn rates of a ton of terrible weapons in the game. And I feel like the game is pretty overall balanced and fun now. Hey, I, I may even fool around and play a solo game tomorrow. Who, <laughs> who knows? It's been 40 days. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and comment something. Comment something yet that you like about the update. Day two of 14 days of Nerd Period. It's hard. It's tough. It's it's getting sweaty. I'm already sweating. It's hard. Okay. 14 days, 12 left. We got it. Thank you for watching. Peace. Use code Nerd Period. That was insane, dude. Oh my god. Gage is getting ripped to bot right? Gage cannot build. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, some could say I'm nuts. <laughs>